so I just uh, I'm, I was just going through my uh, uh, screenings for short shorts candidates and uh, I just went through you know, you know both uh, established down trends and a down on the volume um, down on the volume screening and I made my short list basically just like this and uh, today I just wanted to go through my desktop version of MarketSmith and show how I go into it in more detail so this is the desktop version and I click the short list and I start from my LMT okay so basically what I'm looking at is uh, I go I have to go through twice because I need to see the weekly basis and also want to see in the daily basis okay the LMT uh, the reason why I chose the LMT is because you know because of the chart setup mostly and it's sort of you know, right at the 50 DMA and right at the 200 DMA and it, it looks like it's going down a little bit but 50 DMA is going up and see the volume uh, you know you see the red toll red toll bars and there's a you know, blue toll bars right here but seemingly I see more red than blue and that's why and also the RS RS rating is c coming down and also I see the fidelity contract selling a number of funds decreasing and somewhat uh, EPS and revenue look like it's questionable that's why okay that's LMT right okay DE well for the DE I see that uh, it went up quite a bit last week plus six percent on a strong volume but RS is still declining uh, fidelity bond is increasing the position here and uh, okay let's switch over to the daily chart you see uh, so I see the pattern basically it's in in the you know the price range between 350 to 450 so basically it goes up and down and up and down between this price range just like this and it touched uh, 358 and 355 level and now it's bouncing back but it's reaching at 200 200 dma level and it may c come down here but i don't have edge here so um, by looking at this chart i probably if i want to show this name it's down below here when it uh, let me see when it reaches probably over here or better here reaches 345 level and it go, when it when it start to go down this line that's when I need to show that's why I have a lot here okay so let's go next shockwave um, by looking at the weekly it went up plus seven percent last week that's a quite big jump but it's re uh, once again it's reaching to 50 dma's red line and uh, see the EPS is going down EPS growth rate is going down you know the institution tend to sell uh, tend to you know decrease the position when the growth rate goes down and it's going down rapidly and uh, see the RS rating 18 is very weak uh, some funds are increasing position in you know, blue color blue, blue color letters and let's see the daily chart okay so it's reaching it's went over the 50 dma and now it's coming down right but you see if you look at this chart i see some patterns 
so first it reached a top at the 315 and the start goes down, bouncing back, reaches 50 DMA and starts go down and go down rapidly here and, uh, and uh, makes a temporary bottom and start goes up hit the 200 DMA and starts go down right you see the pattern right and uh, makes at the uh, temporary bottom at 183 and start to wedge here and it goes over the uh, 50 DMA the red line and it goes down rapidly and now this is a looks like a double bottom but uh, starts uh, which you know start to be watching a little bit and goes up high reach 50 dma you see the pattern right probably down that's what i see so that's why i'm looking at this okay let's go next it's a horses a horses uh, in a downtrend and it's last Friday it sold on a strong volume let's see the weekly well the fundamental wise is coming in pretty good the numbers are coming in pretty good the number of funds are decreasing and it's it's in the strong downtrend and 50 DMA seems to be pressing the prices lower that's for sure all the DMAs are down training right okay let's see the daily one more time uh, well uh, this is hard to say much but uh, for sure it's a uh, undercutting the last 13.74 level and now it's going down so uh, you know this red bar seems to be higher than this bar which is 3.0 million can I see the volume uh, 3.5 million so looks like it wants to go lower but for this type of price action what I, what I usually need to be careful is that uh, you know at here at the 331 uh, 13.74 it made I know the volume as high as 3.3 million right and now it's undercutting its 13.74 level and it makes even a higher volume action that means that at this level it can be doing some climax thing that's another possibility for sure this chart looks weak it's downtrending but you know I have to also think about why possibility that means you know I, I'm changing my angle here then uh, you know this can be potentially making a climax selling means that it may be potentially bottoming that's another possibility so that's why I don't know you know for this name I don't know if he wants to go down or maybe making a bottom beer i really don't do not know that so so that's why i don't bet uh for this time price action for now okay let's go next deep okay um, deep well it went another uh, 4.6 percent last week pretty big move upward and uh, number number of funds are actually increasing and it's going up high going up high three quarters uh in seek in uh in uh, three three quarters three quarters straight and they eat both eps and the revenue are increasing this is a uh bullish sign and let's see the um, the funds what the funds are doing so some funds are increasing quite rapidly and uh, let me see the daily chart. 
So basically for this name, it's mostly the sideways. And it made a cup with a handle and tried to break out, but it failed and made another cup. So it's like a base on base pattern. And it tried to break out, but it failed. And it keep failing. And now sort of making a sideway action. So I shouldn't really bet on this one. Okay, let's go next. So, you know, what I'm trying to explain is that I'm looking at the chart in more detail after doing, yeah, you know, after doing the screening and the selecting the names by using the iPad version. And this is what I'm doing on the desktop version. Okay, genuine parts, GPC. Okay, what I see is the downtrending, you know, all the MAs are downtrending. RS19 very weak, and it went over the 50 DMA, a relatively stronger volume, but I see it's more red than blue. Okay, go to the daily chart. Another thing, you know, this is, I see another pattern. Okay, go down, wedges, goes up high, and uh, drops, and wedges high, drops, Go sideways, start to drop, wedges high, drops, and wedges, drops, and wedges. What happens to the next? Probably drops. So that's what I'm seeing. You know, I see that I, see, I try to find this kind of pattern, and this may be a good one to show it. But uh, just for, for anyone's information, you know, at this moment, the market is in a very strong bullish trend, it's going upward. So uh, the reason why I see the uh, short candidates is because I want to see where the weaknesses are in the markets. I, you know, I do this routinely in every weekend, so that uh, you know, if I see some weakness in the market and I want to short something, I go to my list and you know, do whatever I need to do. <laughs> so it's not that you know, I make a short list every week and I will short. Uh, the name in this list. No, 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 it's not that. I'm uh, basically, you know, uh, looking at where the weakness is in the markets, potentially, and I'm making a potential short candidate, and that's all. Okay, KMB. Kimberly Clark. Oh, this is a mostly sideways, going down a bit on the volume. But numbers are coming in uh, pretty well. Uh, number of funds increasing, uh, earning stability then, it's pretty stable. And uh, okay, so, and well, this is again, go down which goes up high. This is where you should short. You know, uh, I short the strengths, not the weakness. And it goes down, start to wedge higher, goes down, which is high. This is where I give short, goes down, which is higher, and drops, and one, one, one more are up, one back again, and it start to drop on volume. So this maybe, maybe, can be a, another good you know, short candidate. But I'm not sure. <laughs> okay. So, this is an uh, uh, energy ETF. Well, mostly sideways, you see. This is in the price range, so I should be really short. But, uh, yeah, it's uh, between, you know, it's in the price range, so I shouldn't really short that, so I just delete from the list. Okay, let's go next. Baidu. Baidu. Well, uh, let me see. Okay, it's been a downtrend and dropped and it went back up and it's now going down a little bit. And uh, if I see the fundamentals, the, non, the EPS is coming in. Okay. Revenue is kind of going sideways flat. Um, 
Well, I don't know about the legacy. The, yeah, a little bit. I see the same kind of wedge is high and drops, wedge drops, wedge drops, wedge and drops. And now at the 50 DMA. Maybe, yeah. It can be. Okay, let's go next. CFR. Well, CFR was actually in my long candidate list last week. And now it's in my short candidate list. And uh, the reason why is that, well, it went up above 200 DMA last week, made a plus 5% move. But uh, looking at the daily, I probably saw the same pattern. You see, a drop, wedge, drop, wedge, drop, wedge, drop, went down, but then the dropped and start to go back goes back up but this is another seemingly another wedging and it went up and it started to drop on volume but you know uh, for this name for this pattern what i need to be careful is that uh, the red line the 50 dma is now start to turn turning over start to turning around but still 200 dma is going down so, I don't know, it can be short candidate, but I don't know. Okay, let's go next. This is a Starbucks. Uh, well, you see in the price range, when up strongly, but coming down. And the numbers, uh, numbers is coming in okay, looks like it. JP Morgan has a position. Now I go to the daily chart. Okay, so. Well, uh, I really don't have an edge here. My, it's in the price range between 90 to uh, 115. And it's right below the 50 DMA, but it's going up, maybe kind of dropped and wedged and start to drop. That's probably what I saw. Maybe, but how, how far it can go, it's up to only 90. It's <laughs> only $6 below. So if I want to short this name, it's, uh, you know, when it hits the 89, goes below even below that's where i need to short so i just delete this name okay wing resort okay wing resort this is the name i've been showing time to time but but look at the numbers it's a triple digit growth and for the eps and uh, you know pretty strong growth for revenue so fundamentally it's coming in strongly but still the chart is trending down okay let's go to the daily chart yeah. oh but basically it's the same thing i'm looking at it's a uh, you know the price seems to be pressed down by the 50 dma sometimes it goes up high but it drops and his 50 dma drops hits drops, hit, drops, and hit, now what? Probably drops. That's what I'm seeing. So let's go next. The bill will come. Okay, see I see the wedging, you know, and the hitting in the 50 DMA, so that's what I'm seeing. Yeah. Okay, let's go next. PayPal. Another wedging. And now hitting 200 DMA, that's what I'm seeing. FMC, another wedging. High some food. See, you see the pattern, right? So, wedge drops, wedge drops, wedge drops, wedge now what? Probably drops. Okay, Mr. Myers. And the same thing, it's, it looks like it's, you know, 50 DM is pressing down the price movement, and now 
wedging a little bit on a strong volume is sold last week but this is a uh, probably but the quadro wedging last friday so i shouldn't i shouldn't mind much about this strong volume but still and the price is wedging and hitting a 50 dma so that's what i'm saying okay cisco uh i don't know cisco let's see well, it went down on a strong volume uh, for the whole five weeks ago, and now try to go goes back up and approaching the 50 DMA. That's what I'm seeing. Yes, later, but numbers are coming in okay. The number of funds are increasing, and I see the daily chart goes up, drops, uh, of course, sideways drops. Now start to wedge and approaching 50 DMA. That's what I'm seeing. Okay, let's go next. Las Vegas Sands. Okay. Hmm. Well, it's in a downtrend now, but it's sort of going sideways. But look at the numbers. The numbers are very strong fundamentally. Uh, and I go to the very chart. Uh, the drops goes high. Yeah, this is kind of going sideways. I shouldn't touch it. Let's go next. Campbell soup. Yeah, Campbell soup was in my uh, long list last week, and now it's in my short list. Interesting, right? So some names, you know, change the change the and it's short. Uh, some names goes into the long name so short names week by week it changes so that's another interesting point i think so my campbell soup has been a strong downtrend and the dmas are all downtrending still but the price spiked high for the last two weeks and the numbers are still weak right and uh, so basically you, you uh, try to go up Undercuts probably this is a you know a little shake out and start to go up high spikes are high and now starts go down on stronger volume so potentially yeah potentially a short candle yeah short okay let's go mo well mo looks like uh, let's see it's been an, in a downtrending and the daily chart once again so it broke this you know price range here when I retest it goes down and retest it goes down and retest it and start to go down so that's uh, another short candidate sure for sure okay tapestry see it looks like it's hitting 200 DMA but you know DMA is moving high so I'm not sure this one, but uh, for, uh, surely the, this angle is, seems to be too, too sharp. Let's see the weekly. Yeah. So this move. But, uh, yeah. I don't know. Well, it looks like it's, you know, this move is kind of too sharp and now hitting 200 DMA. So can be a good candidate for sure. The fidelity contract is uh, decreasing the position. Okay, let's go next. APA is going mostly sideways. And uh, let's go daily. Yeah, but it looks like, uh, you know, if this goes up a little bit more and hits 50 days and 200, where, you know, where the hit 50 days and 200 days are, and starts goes down that can be a, another short candidate uh, short short opportunity okay let's go bti bti was also in the in my long list last week but now let's see you know still all the ma's are down trending and i go to the daily well i see the similar pattern wedges high goes down wedges high go down wedges high go down and which is high goes down and now what 
if this goes up a little bit and hit the 50 dma or go over the 50 dma and that's probably where the short opportunity is okay am until midstream well i was in this thing uh, way before well but still this one is going up uh you know the dma is looking upward so i Probably shouldn't short, but uh, let's see the daily. Ah, uh, yeah. So basically, it's undercutting 50 DMA. You know, this is showing a weakness, but when it's already showing a weakness, it's not the right time to short. Usually, you see, this this is where undercuts the 50 DMA over here as well, and we, it goes up, keeps on higher. Now, it's you know. Once again, it's undercutting the 50 DMA, but this is not where I should short. So I delete from the list. Okay, it's been a little bit long, uh, long video, but uh, I just wanted to show how I am, you know, uh, narrowing down the uh, narrowing down the list by using the desktop version of Mark Business. So that's all. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.